Hey, Misty. Hey. <gasps> How you doing today? How you doing today? Oh, it's been a while since I've been on the vlog. Do you miss me? She's enjoying a nice rainy day in today, looking all cute. Shout out to all my fellow dog owners out there. You be good, okay? You be good. Something I ain't ever felt before. You have been so, we just made it to Yorkdale Mall now. You guys have been requesting non-stop that I go to this mall. Because there's a... Oh, this is, a this oh, is automatic. automatic? Oh, wow. Yeah, Thank you, Tom. Thank I you. So we're at Nordstrom Rack right now. And check it out. They got these, like, Gucci boots. They're, like, Gucci Timberlands. A lot of this rack is, like, an extra 60% off. That's yeah, insane. That's so these are regularly $1,500. And I think there's an extra 60% off these Gucci boots. So that's pretty crazy. Check these out. They also got these Balenciaga Triple S's here. And it's, like, a half-and-half half sneaker right here. Right down the middle, it's split. These are size 45. I always find it funny that they have the sizing right on the toe box of the shoe. These things are absolutely massive. Oh my gosh. Check these out. We got some black and gum bottom Gucci dad shoes right here. These are regularly priced at $10.50. Now they're $735 with that big loud Gucci on the side. Ooh, oh my gosh. We got some Rick Owens Geo Baskets right here. These are really nice. And uh, retail price for these is $1,000. $110. They dropped down to $700 and now they're $564. I think that's actually a really good price. That's even better than like Black Friday prices. I was not expecting Holt Renfrew to come through with these designer sneaker steals. Damn. Oof. These are like bougie. Some Gucci dress shoes right here with this like chenille sort of like satin material on it. Leather on the back. That wood bottom. These are retail price $1,010. These are five. This is like some date night shoe right here. These, these are like outrageous. These are some weird loot Gucci, if you wanted Gucci to go top shoes. in the 1970s while also playing in a funk band. This is it. This is some bowling and Gucci sneaker right here. This thing's crazy. How much do these go for? $980. So here's a look at the selection at the Nike store. We got the Air Monarch M2K Technos with this white and blue colorway. Really reminds me of that OG colorway. A selection of the staple sneaker of the summer, the Air Force One Low Triple White. They got ones with the uh, red swoosh, the red air branding, the green as well. And one of my favorites, the moon colorway, I like to call it, with this crazy, crazy swoosh on the side. Here's a look at the Air Max 720 selection. This is probably the most amount of colorways I've seen in one spot. This is new. Have not seen this colorway before, this blue colorway looking pretty fresh. I mess with it, I mess with it. This is also a brand new colorway for the Air Max 270s. Reminds me of those Air Max 95s with those hits of uh, gray and that light green color. And they recently did an Air Max 98 the other day as well. And uh, with that same sort of Air Max 95 inspired color scheme. This is probably one of the better colorways for the Air Max 98. And the last shoes I'm going to show you guys at the Nike store are the Be True Collection for 2019, the Gay Pride sneakers. We've got the Air Max 90s right here. There is, I think, seven swooshes on this shoe, all stitched beside each other, so pretty wild. It really reminds me of like a Crayola coloring pack, like the crayons. And the last shoe of the day here at Nike store are the Air Tailwind 79B Trues. These are going for $135, and the mesh on the side is so thin, I can actually see the like shoe horn, the plastic shoe thing inside, keeping the shape of the shoe. This would be a really good summer sneaker right here, but definitely uh, not something I think I can pull off. So we're inside of the van store for the very first time at Yorkdale and you can actually make custom vans here. This is pretty dope. Check it out. We have the vans custom wall right here. It looks like a bunch of custom creations on display like a little gallery. Check out this massive shoe. Holy cow. This thing like weighs 30 pounds. That's massive. This thing is bigger than my face and bigger than Tom's face too. And Tom has a pretty big face I gotta say but what check these. About my face? You have a big face Tom. Just Tom's admit face. it. All right. This is my face. This is your face. <laughs> Anyways, take a look at these customs they have here. I've never seen like one like this before. All over canvas checkered board, and then you even have it on the midsole too. We've got the Galaxy print ones as well. I used to make Galaxy Vans back in the day. We have floral with checkered board, so really cool stuff. If you want to make something unique, Vans Yorkdale has you guys covered with this custom selection, and it looks like you can do it all yourself right here on these computers. I might have to give that a shot sometime. So here's a look at the van selection they have. This is the Comfy Cush Wall, and uh, Vans Canada actually sent me these ones a few months ago. 
I gotta say, if you have the money to get the upgraded Comfy Cush Tech in your vans, definitely worth it. These are on sale for $50, down from $85. So I would take these over like a regular pair of vans any day. The comfort is definitely there. So here's just a look at the rest of the vans. Since I really don't come here often, this is my first time, I figured I'd show you guys what they have. Here's a couple of the other ones. These ones really throw me off. It's like uh, your eyes are distorted when you look at these. We got this sort of duck camo on the midsole here with this khaki and black canvas upper as well. So they have this like tie-dye kind of effect on these red ones and the green ones. And then over here, they have like these all over sort of mismatched kind of vibes right here. Sort of that top three Jordan kind of vibe. So, or the what the, the what the kind of vibes right here. Sort of clownish in my opinion, easy pass, but check these out. They have new deconstructed vans. So this is a blue and red colorway that they just dropped. I've never seen this colorway before. Easy pass for me, I'll put those back. And then they also did a gray and yellow one too. So Vans is really trying to push hard on that whole deconstructed vibe, pushing out more colorways of this shoe. They do have the white ones here, but it looks like they just have a uh, woman sizing left and I can't find the black ones available here at the store either. So that's it for the van store. Anyways, let's find uh, another shoe store, maybe Champs Full Locker. So it looks like the next store we're gonna be going to is Champs Sports. I can see it up to the left. It looks like it hasn't moved. Here we are, Champs Sports. They got the uh, the React, I think, are those re the React Prestos on display at the front yeah let's uh let's see what they have here so here's a look at the selection at champs yorkdale this is all the air max selection that got going on we got the air max 95 ogs out here as well this is the colorway i mentioned earlier that the other shoes sort of were inspired by at the nike store these are surprising to find they still have some just do it air force ones available a few of you guys were asking me for some like off-white inspired sneakers and i think this right here is a pretty good option this is really bold and ideal for the summer i think size 10.5 so a pretty good size too still available hundred dollars plus tax the orange air force one low just do it these are tempting but uh i need a 10 or a 9.5 for my air force ones i typically go half a size down in the af1 and then here's a look at the jordan selection that they got we have some 11s these just did not have a fun release at all these are available everywhere and i think they're even at some outlets too we got some sixes that i'm not really a fan of at all either we got the fours we got the threes the jth jordan threes i'm glad to see these on sale because that retail price of 300 was really high 269 is still a, still a bit better but i feel like it could drop down to maybe 200 or 200 230 Canadian. I think these are the Ray Allen 11 uh, PEs Air Jordan 7s right here. Sort of reminds me of the Raptor 7s and uh, it's sort of funny that this is not the exact PE. This is actually just inspired by the PE that Ray Allen had. But it's a little pretty clean colorway and we haven't seen Jordan 7s released in a long time. So it is refreshing to see these still available at the stores. And then we also have the Snakeskin Air Jordan 11 Low. These are really clean and I could definitely recommend these for the summertime. And damn, I'm actually really surprised these are still sitting. I think these are the New York to Paris Air Jordan 1s. I picked these up recently in a size 10.5 and uh, looks like size 10.5 is the one size I find at every single store. This is also a size 10.5 so I'll probably do a review of these very very soon on the channel. But I showed you guys these the other day in a big haul I did with some Yeezys that Adidas sent me over. Checking out the Puma selection right now. They have a ton of really good prices on these Puma sneakers from the Puma RSX, the Hot Wheels collaboration, going for $80 down from $150. That's almost half price. So that's really good. They have new colorways here too. This one really reminds me of like a pack of nerds I used to eat a lot growing up. This red and blue one, totally brand new color scheme. They have the toys, which is probably one of the best colorways they ever did for the Puma RSX. Really, really awesome awesome colorway really bold and perfect for summer and then they actually have a lot of puma basketball on sale too so check it out they got the clyde courts the bold orange they got the miami vice or south beach colorway and then they even have the uh, puma uproar for 80 dollars if you guys are looking for like a really good basketball sneaker and you're on a budget the uproars and the clyde courts if you can find them on sale i would highly recommend you guys check these out they're really really good i'm still really surprised they did a friends and Kyrie collaboration on a pair of sneakers What's next? How I Met Your Mother and Kyrie? Maybe one day. So that was Champ Sports here at Yorkdale Mall. We also bumped into a subscriber here, a fellow Filipino. Shout out to all my Filipinos out there, Pinoy Pride. Um, yeah, shout out to Kevin. Um, the next step, we're gonna be going over to Foot Action. Now, my friend Brianna from university actually, I think, might work at this location. She hit me up like uh, a few months ago because she got an interview at Foot Action and she wanted me to give her some knowledge about sneakers and stuff like that, what to expect on the job, how to be a good employee, and she might be working at Foot Action. So let's see if she's working today. So here we are, Foot Action, Yorkdale. Let's go inside and uh, see what they have here. Yeah. 
These are the brand new Devin Brooker Air Force One Lows and these look really really cool. This has that paint that will uh, sort of be peeled off over time so I love shoes like that. Very cool. You can sort of see the, the blue underneath that like light light sort of teal I want to say. So yeah pretty cool. Pretty nice sneaker for the spring and summer. Now I'm not really into LeBrons anymore. I think the last LeBron I actually bought was a LeBron 11, but these 16s are a really, really fire colorway in my opinion. Sort of reminds me of the uh, sort of like Yeezy Solar 2 with the, the bottoms right here, the sort of green bottom, and then the black. Maybe these glow in the dark, but I don't know guys. This is probably one of my favorite colorways of the LeBron 16. I'm curious what you guys think about this colorway too. So hit that poll in the top right. Once again, what do you guys think about these LeBron 16s? Are these a cop or are they a drop? This shoe is an absolute disgrace. They never should have made this. The Nike Air More Up Tempo 720. It's just absolutely, oh, oh, I want to throw up just looking at this thing. Now these, these are nice and I'm surprised they're on sale. The Air Max 95 uh, Carhartt on sale for 172.50 Canadian. Probably one of the best Air Max 95 collaborations I've seen in a long, long time. And these are some funky shoes too. The Vapor Max Plus right here in this blue and red colorway. I feel like this would hit the LS though. I don't think this is a colorway that's going to be very well received by the general public. These are fresh too. I have not seen this colorway for the Air Max 720 yet, but this red and black colorway is probably my favorite one now. Damn. They also have the purple Air Max Pluses on sale, down from 215 now for 161.25. That's a really hard to resist price point, but I know we're gonna be hitting up the Nike clearance store in the Full Locker outlet very, very soon, so we're gonna have to throw these back on the shelf, but a really clean shoe. Probably one of the better Air Max Plus colorways. <laughs> Here is a look at the Jordan selection. And this is actually really surprising to see they have the black toe Air Jordan 1 lows, but it looks like they really just have some bigger sizes. These might be 11, 120 Canadian, straight steel. I expect these to sell out within the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, so don't sleep on it. Don't sleep in regret. I'll leave a link to cop these in the description down below if you guys wanna buy them. This pair of Air Jordan 1 mids was actually really surprising. It is actually reselling in some markets, like in Japan too. They're reselling these in Japan. Black, gold, and uh, white. Jordan one made with a mixture of patent leather and then leather on the toe box. I was tempted to buy these for a review, but I think it's been out for a couple of months now, but probably one of the better Air Jordan 1 mid colorways to release. And I like the fact that they actually went with the regular leather here as compared to patent leather. And they still have the Katori Air Jordan 1s still available. And they also got the uh, other Jordan 1s I showed you guys earlier at Champ Sports. <laughs> surprising to see. One of the last shoes I'll show you guys today at Foot Action, they have the Ultra Boost from the Game of Thrones collection. These are the Knight's Watch Ultra Boost, and I haven't seen any Ultra Boost sitting uh, lately from the Game of Thrones collection, so this is just uh, cool to find that they still have available. This is size 9, so if you want a size 9, come through the Yorkdale Mall. So there you guys have it, that is Foot Action at Yorkdale Mall. Tom, what did you think about Foot Action? It was action for the foot. So the final store we're going to go into before going over to Plus is the Foot Locker House of Hoops. You can probably find some pretty good stuff inside, so let's check it out. I can't believe it, but they actually have the Nike Air Tech Challenge 2 Hot Lava still available at House of Hoops. Now the crazy thing about the shoe is it released like three or four years ago, but now they've bumped up the retail price by $30. This used to be $140, now it's $170, and they literally didn't change anything about the quality on it. I feel, I think actually the leather feels a bit more rough because they added this sort of uh, weird texture to it. It used to be smooth leather, but uh, yeah, I used to own these shoes. And if you guys don't know, this is the shoe that uh, Kanye used for a toolkit for the uh, Yeezy 2s. So this is actually the bottom that's on the Yeezy 2 with Nike. But um, yeah, this is one of my favorite Nike models next to the Air Force One. And I'm thinking about buying these today. For now, I'm gonna have to hold off because they might just go on sale if I wait like maybe a month. But I'm being a little bit risky with it because uh, not too many stores in Canada got these. I think Full Locker, House of Hoops, and Nike stores were the only ones to get these, so there isn't too much stock available. So, crossing my fingers, but don't be surprised if I do end up buying these, because this is such a great sneaker. And then here is just a quick look at the Jordan wall before we get going over to Plus. Nothing we haven't seen before. 
I am a bit surprised they have these available still. These sort of uh, like off-white inspired Air Jordan 1s you could say. These are going, uh, these are size 13. Size 13 for 215 Canadian dollars. Damn, retail is 245 in uh, Singapore. I feel a little bit ripped off, but I did get the hookup, so uh, shout out to my full lock of Singapore people. And they still have all the, uh, the Air Jordan 1 lows right now. The SB inspired ones, the black toes, and the yellow ones. And I think Tom actually is wearing these today. No, Tom's wearing a different pair. But did you bring this too or no? No. No, so he didn't bring these, but I know he has these. Do you have these? Two per. Two, two per, yes, two per, two per. Here is the Adidas selection that they have, and they do have the Alpha Edge 4Ds here. They got the black pair available, and uh, these are pretty cool, but the retail price hurts. 450 Canadian Alpha Edge 4D black colorway. And then this is like the third time they've released the white Alpha Edge 4D. They've done like the regular prime knit upper in the past twice, and now they have like this one where it has a hit of like this TPU plastic on the side, and it feels like a sort of like a premium mesh instead of prime knit. But uh, yeah, these are an absolute dirt magnet. These could be yellow and brown, they give it a few weeks. Just wait for people to start touching these up like crazy. I wasn't expecting Full Locker to have these, but they have the uh, the Nike Air Max 2 Crazy Light. I think it's called the Atmos collab for 210 Canadian plus tax. And if you go to Halton Hills, I actually saw an Instagram post by Hunting Sneakers on IG where these are available at the Halton Hills Nike outlets. So crazy, crazy shoe. They are releasing a black colorway, like a reverse colorway to this, and it looks really good as well. Not as vibrant, of course, but the same sort of print on the upper. One of my favorite Air Max sneakers to release and I'm so grateful that a subscriber gave these to me. So a huge shout out to David over in Japan. So Tom just informed me these are the Jason Tatum's Air Max 97s. Now, I'm not a big Air Max 97 guy, but this colorway, this is a slick colorway. I messed with it. The red, the white, the graphic prints on the side with the bulldog, I think, the bandage, the little doodles all over the place. Really cool, really cool shoe. And this is the very first time I'm seeing this colorway of the Air Max 270. It's straight up the Air Max 1 OG colorway, but on the 270. I'm surprised they made the air unit like this sort of black or gray, um, but overall, probably one of the best Air Max 270 colorways to release. And check it out, they still have the Air Jordan 6s. This is like a brand new Quick Strike release. The entire upper is reflective, and I feel like this sneaker would have sold out if it released like three to five years ago, but uh, in 2019, when a lot of Jordans are sitting and the retail price is so high, these are just uh, basically bound for the shelves. So next up, we're gonna be going over to Plus for the very, very first time. I wonder what heat they're gonna have, because uh, I'm expecting to find some very expensive of sneakers so let's go check it out Stepping inside of Plus Yorkdale right now, I gotta say, it's a very clean, simple, minimalist layout to the store. Definitely recommend you guys check it out. Go look at the sneaker wall right here on the right side. They have a lot of stuff, a lot of the heat, just front and center. Check these out. They got the Comme des Garçons Vans right here. The Supreme Comme des Garçons Vans. Was not expecting to find these. These are size, uh, these are size 9.5 or $600 Canadian. Brand new. This is a really hard shoe to find brand new. Here's a look at the other sneakers that they have available here. Not too much Ultra Boost selection. This is the very front of the store with the Ultra Boost. They got the OGs, for example. They got this gray colorway. They have uh, the Climo ones here. They even have the creams. The creams are going for 375 Canadian. Here's a look at the Retro Jordan selection that they have, excluding the ones, but they have a bunch of off-white UNC ones at the very top row right there. But these are the three, fours, 11, sixes. We got some Air Max 98 Chinese New Year's here as well. We got the Drake fours, not the Raptor fours, the Drake fours. These are going for 650, size eight, size nine. I'm really surprised they released these. I'm happy I got my regular Raptors fours though. Very happy with those. They are the bread for us here too. 
and then they got some more heat up top with the Kaz and the uh, Travis Scotts. Here's a look at the Yeezy selection as well. A lot of older and newer releases, the 350s and 700s. They have it all. They have all these different Yeezys available. They got the glows here too. How much are the glows going for? These are going for 875. Glow in the dark. Oh my gosh, these are so nice. I'm so happy that Adidas gifted me a pair. And then last but not least, here's a look at the Air Jordan wall. And they also have a lot of the off-whites here as well. So they got the Hyperdunks, they even have the Union ones here. They got the Prestos, the Air Max 90s. And even up top, we got the Blazers and Chicago ones also. So this is like the heat section with all the ones in the off-whites. Ooh, how, how much are the Rookie of the Years going for? 475, all right, I'm very happy I picked mine up for, uh, for retail. And they have the, I think these were the Storm Blue Jordan ones. I uh, bought these in Texas because they were sitting in a lot of places. And these are going for $500 Canadian, brand new. Here's the back half of the store, and as you guys can see, on the left they have a bunch of the Supreme crewnecks and uh, hoodies here. All the box logos all available, so I'll show you guys a selection of those. They also have a bunch of hats here as well, so if you're into wearing some Supreme hats, they have a pretty decent selection, I want to say. There's also the racks full of Supreme tees, so this entire rack is all Supreme tees. This entire rack is all Supreme tees, so they have a lot of selection here as well. Going down the store, we have more of Supreme and the North Face collaboration right here so a ton of different ones like look at all these wild prints these are some really really crazy and out there prints the middle of the store has a bunch of the babe t-shirt selection here and then they even have a key master as well so if you want to test your luck and mr. Uh, JJ has not won then you can always try and get some the back left corner of the store is really cool so they have like this massive display case with uh, things like the supreme luggages to the Fox uh, motorcycle or BMX helmets we got supreme LV bags and then they even have cost figures too a uh, smaller selection Selection of antisocial social club tees here in the back as well not as much as the babe and uh, supreme and then in the back right corner they also have a bunch of bags so if you need some bags for you know your summer activities they got you covered here here's a look from the inside of the display window they have they got the supreme bike out front along with some other heat like the uh, supreme everlast punching bag they got some more accessories down below Over here is where they keep a lot of the insane expensive heat in the store. So we got Supreme Louis Vuitton, we got the crewnecks, we got this LV belt, we got the denim pieces from the LV Supreme collection. And check these out. These are the most expensive sneakers they have at Plus. So we got some Louis Vuitton sneakers. These are the uh, collaboration I believe that Kanye West did with LV back with that stint. We got $3,000, $2,000, $4,000, $7,000 for these LV Kanye sneakers. $7,000 sneakers at the mall that's crazy we also got fragment ones for 4k i think these are a pe air jordan 8 and then we have the yeezy selection here as well four thousand dollars for these yeezy solar twos we got eight thousand dollars for the red octobers damn eight thousand dollars for red october yeezys i remember when those were going for around three to four thousand dollars years and years ago when they came out i remember i think jacob keller got a pair from twitter he, he bought a pair on Twitter off his phone. Like that's how crazy the sneaker game was back then. Um, but yeah, they have Red Octobers here for $8,000. I'll see if I can hold them in person because I really want to touch them, but maybe they won't let me because it is in the glass case. They're an $8,000 pair of sneakers after all. And then they also have the easy ones here as well. So I think these are called the Zens or Tans. I'm not too sure, but they're 3,300 for that brown colorway. That almost looks like a Band-Aid in my opinion, but I still like it, I still like it. And then they also have the black colorway here for 4,000. I find it funny that they have it marked as like three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine but then you'll have ones here that are four thousand like what's the thought process behind that you know so we asked the employees at the store and they were cool with us taking the shoes out of the case check these out red october easy twos this is like the holy grail for so many sneakers it really started the all red sneaker trend as well and i think it's one of the most neck breaking easies of all time i don't really think um any other easy can compare to the hype 
that this shoe created way back when these released, I think around like Valentine's Day uh, in February, a long, long time ago. So yeah, insanely rare sneaker and uh, they have them here at Plus at Yorkdale Mall. So check it out if you guys wanna see what they look like in person. They also have the Fragment Air Jordan 1s and uh, I've actually never held these in person myself and these are so, so nice. Tom, what do you think about the Fragment 1s? I want them, I need them. I... Why don't you have them? You're like the Jordan 1 guy. Do you wanna show them the price tag? I, I mean, it hurts. It yeah. hurts, but it makes sense. They're so rare. Four thousand dinero. That's like a that's like a used car right there. Yeah, <laughs> I could sell my car and purchase these. Okay, well, what about the uh, the Red October Easy Twos? How, how do you feel about these? Even if I was in a financial position to just throw away eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars, I wouldn't want these. Why is that? You like I don't, I don't pink sneakers. I don't not like them. Yeah, I just like there's a limit. I don't I don't like this is not something I value. $8,000. So there you guys have it. That was Plus Yorkdale. If you guys want to check it out, Yorkdale Mall is not too far from downtown Toronto. It's about, a, I, think, I think, a 45-minute subway ride. And if you go to University at York, it's a very quick, like, 15-minute bus ride. But it's really cool to see that they actually opened up at a luxury mall. Like, this is, I think, the first of its kind in Canada where a consignment store opened up in, like, a major mall. Like, this is, this is, big, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. So come check it out. Plus Yorkdale. This video is not sponsored by them at all by any means, but just kudos to them from, you know, starting from the bottom, now they're here. Like, Louis Vuitton's right there. Like, LV Plus. Anyways, if you guys made it to the end of the vlog, make sure you guys enter the Bape Sneaker giveaway by commenting down below your favorite sneaker you saw in today's video, uh, hitting that like button as well, and following me on Instagram, at SneakerTalkCA. A bunch of Asia vlogs are on the way, so make sure you guys catch up, binge watch them this weekend, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.